Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm opening a Miniverse Cafe Series 3, so let's see what's inside. Okay, still hoping for the pickles, but I will be happy with anything new. We have some peanuts. Oh, I bet it's that popsicle, that little bear popsicle. Yep, bear pop, and they're individually wrapped. We have not done this one yet, so that will be fun. We did do the other, the little mango popsicle. There's our stand. And our resin. Chocolate. Here's the Choco Bear Pop card. And it does look easier than I thought it was going to be. It's not a mold. You actually just dip them in there and then add the peanuts and cure it. However, once you dip it and add the peanuts, how are you getting it in the mold before curing it? Like, you're not. So, if you don't have a resin light, just run outside and cure it in the sun real quick. Then you could transfer it to the mold and let it cure some more. I did get a little UV light, so I will be using that. So let's cut this open and see what it looks like. I'm going to cut it this way because I can feel the popsicle stick. Totally ruined the packaging. That's super cute. That's what it looks like. So not much room to hold it. I'll have to do one at a time. I'm going to use this so I can sprinkle the peanuts um, over it like that before I cure it. So I'll try to everything prepped. I'm guessing the resin's going to be very um, runny, if I had to guess. Let's take a look. Definitely looks like chocolate. So let's do the first one. Okay, so it almost goes to the bottom. It goes about oop, that far. I'm wondering if I flip it over if it's going to run down too. It is runny at least. Might have to double coat this if you want it a little thicker. Try to flip it over. Ooh. I feel like there's not much room here. Oh yeah, you can completely see through it. I'm going to have to double cure it for sure. So I think I'm going to let this kind of drizzle. Well, I thought this was going to be easier than this and now I'm questioning myself. I guess you could kind of rotate it to control like where it's running because you want it to come down unless I just do this and then roll it around to make sure it's up on both sides but see it's not tall enough to really do that you have to like angle it and lay it in there like that just kind of touch it a little and then really let this drip off Very, very realistic chocolate, I think. I just wish there was a better way to hold it, to flip it over without getting it all over your fingers. Okay, I think that was a pretty good dip. I'm going to try to hold this and kind of run it this way. And then I'll take my little flashlight and set it real quick. And make sure the lid's on this and it's away so I don't accidentally cure the stuff I need. Okay, so this is one coat. Obviously, you can still see the white. So let's dip it again. Hopefully we only have to do it twice because it's kind of a, I won't say it's difficult, but it's 
It's definitely not as easy as like a cereal or smoothie bowl. does look better with the second coat. There is probably enough resin here that you could do three coats. But I also kind of don't want to chance it. I feel like it looks really good on that side, but the ears aren't as um, defined as I kind of thought they would be. But uh, let's try to Sprinkle the peanuts, I guess. Holding this upside down real quick to make it run back towards the face. And then it's just supposed to be bottom half. Obviously, you can do whatever in the world you want to do. Because it's your build. But I like that. I think that's cute. It's a little heavier on the back side. But honestly, not the easiest to hold. So... I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and cure that, and I'll be back to show it to you. Here's how they turned out. You can still see the white ears a little, even though I tried holding it down. I do feel like this was a pretty difficult build. I don't think I did the worst job, but I don't think I did the best job either. Let me know what you guys think and what you think of this build, if you think it looks difficult or not. But stay tuned if you want to see me build the rest of Cafe Series 3.